Well, can you introduce yourself? My name is Dadoon. Where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. So are you here just on vacation or are you like? Nah, no, it's cool here. I go to McMaster. Okay. Uh, commerce, commerce, marketing. Yeah, thank can you. Can you describe your outfit today? All right, so today was just a laid back outfit. I was just trying to step out to the mall for a bit. So I got on some Crocs, full Crocs. Got on some Rockerwear sweatpants. You know, the white tank top with the orange hoodie, a bit of color. Got that from Amazon actually still. Love it. Got the Supreme fanny pack on. A few accessories, watch, chain, the earrings, and yeah, that's it. What accessories from? I got this from Amazon actually. Got this from Amazon. I'm a big Amazon shopper, not gonna lie. Amazon too. This Amazon, everything Amazon. Yeah. If you're dripping, you're dripping. It doesn't matter where it's from. You know to what I'm saying? Honest. It's yeah. like it's not about how much it, how much it is. It's about how you put it together. Yeah, exactly. You put it together properly, you're gonna look fire. What's your dream? English. My dream? Yeah. I make music actually. Mm-hmm. Shout myself out DOA to the world. You find me on Spotify, uh, Apple Music, everything. So my dream is just to make it. Give money to the family, support the family, and everything. That's my dream. From how you dress, right? Yeah. You're a stylish person. Is there anyone that inspires you or helps you dress the way you dress? I feel like everyone's gonna say this, but like I have to shout out ASAP. Obviously. I, like, like Obviously. I have. To, everyone's gonna say that, but I have to because yeah. like his style, he, he's just unique. You know what I'm saying? And what I got from him was that don't really look at what too many people are doing. You look in the mirror, you like what you see? We're out here, man. Yes, sir. I just should be. Because nowadays, people are like, oh, I want to look like that guy, look like that guy. Look at, look like yourself, bro. Well, it was good having the uh, episode today. It was good, good being in Toronto. Episode, Have a wonderful day, my brother. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Todun Todnaki. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. You, you're here for school? Yeah. Uh, fashion, Rice University. Can you describe your outfit today? Uh, today is, uh, I wasn't going for any particular style. Mm-hmm. We were just going, I was like, okay, let me just wear some stuff. So. I have my Supreme t-shirt on, uh, some Walmart sweatpants that I dyed myself, white Margellas that I, uh, Margellas. yeah, the custom made, uh, did the paint myself, so. Lovely. Yeah. I saw it, the minute I saw you walk by, I'm like, the shoes, <laughs> the shoes are what got me. Appreciate and the shirt. Appreciate, it was lovely. Appreciate. So what's your aspiration or dream? I have my brand, I have my own clothing brand. I sell and make paintings. And uh, I do these like uh, motivational talks on Instagram, so like, that's just what I'm on right now. And, you know, through that, like, I just wanted to use that medium to inspire people. That's just what I'm about. Uh, my Instagram is Todun underscore A. Name of my brand is TAC. Well, you see how stylish my guy is. So just imagine the art. It's pretty crazy, not going to lie. From the way you're dressed, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's got to be someone that inspires you. My best friend, Nathan, he has a, like, very, like, laid back, lackadaisical like style of dressing. But, like... Very nice fit, so like I take inspiration from that. Well, respect. it was great having you on the show today. Yeah, appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, have a great day in Toronto. You too. Uh, hi, I'm Osman. Nice, nice to meet you. What's yeah. your name? My name's Alex. Nice oh. to meet you. Are you from here? Yeah, I'm from Toronto. Born and raised. So, could you just tell me about your outfit, the different pieces, oh, how you okay. put it together? Uh, this. Sh- okay, we'll start with this shirt. Uh, mood is like my brother's like a musician, and he started this. It's not like a clothing brand, but he just started like. He just, his name is Mahmood. Uh-huh. He just took mood and tossed it on some clothes and then just like sold it to his friends. And this is just one of the shirts. The vest I picked up at a Salvation Army. Pants are, I found in my dad's closet. Shoes are just my old skate shoes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hat? The hat. Uh, I was in Montreal a couple weeks ago and my friend's roommate was just like, you want a hat? And I saw the raccoon and I was like, why yeah. not? Where do you find you get your fashion inspiration from? Honestly, my biggest fa- fashion inspiration is probably my father. Take all of his pants. And uh-huh. it's like, it's not even like he's out here dripping down the street, but uh-huh. like I take what he has, I take what I have, I take what my brothers have, and I make it work. Do you find yourself gravitating towards like a certain like style at all? I guess like a dad style? Dad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's like lazy style, pretty, pretty baggy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you have any like aspirations or dreams? I think I know is I do want to go out and help people. I'm not sure how I'll do that right now. Uh huh. But well, I got some time to figure it out. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, thank you so much yeah, for being on the so show. Much. Yeah. I am Deanna Harding from Toronto. From here. From here. Yes. What do you do? I uh, currently work at the small, okay. you know, just show me around with my friend. Could you explain your outfit to me? For sure. So, from top to bottom, glasses, clear frames, same old, same old. Top Zara, crop top, 
winners, but it is a Zara top, you know? Got it for the lows. Nice find. <laughs> Zara pants. And you know, I got my suit coats. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, lovely, lovely. Yes, that's oh, oh. What about the handbag? So, Value Village, you know, oh, coming for close. the lows, mm. yes, for the lows, you know, this is a cute bag, staple, neutral color, As it everyday is. bag, you know? Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, it's all I got, you know, this what about is the, the fit. Oh, passed down, generational, yeah. That's always a must. Got most. some more, you know, mm -hmm. you know. Lovely, lovely, yes. lovely. Do you have any dreams or aspirations? I definitely want to start my own clothing line soon. Okay. Yes. What uh, type of style are you looking to? Definitely something that's versatile for all people of all colors, all sizes. I definitely find that in today's modern age with clothing especially, you definitely see a more slimmer type kind of girl. Even when it comes to like plus size models, exactly. never really, you know, really plus size, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I really want to expand the culture of clothing or art in general to everybody. Somebody, you know, can come to my brand and feel good about wearing it, you know? What type of style do you tend to go for more when you're stepping out of, like, like today? We can see you're dressing nice, a little classy, a little bougie, Thank you. but still nice and calm. Yes, yes, so definitely. That's a style? Yeah. Um, I definitely say personally for me, I wouldn't gravitate toward a specific style. It's more when I want to feel good in my clothing. I want to walk out and be able, oh, like, I don't want this to itch, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I said, classy and comfortable. Whatever my day takes me, it also depends on the weather, let's be honest. Do you have someone that inspires you, a designer or artist, someone that, in that influences how you dress? Um, I think one person I definitely got into recently is Monica Bucciolelli, I forget how to say it. It's an Italian um, actress and singer and stuff like that. Um, she's not really, I think she's retired now from being honest, but she's like the epiphany of, you know, feminine, divine, you know, classy, elegant. I love those type of styles, simple, but you. Yeah. Well, it was great meeting you. Hopefully great meeting you have a great you rest too. of your day. Yes, you too. Hi, my name is Rayhan. I'm from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, here to be cool. So do you, are you a student? Are you yeah, working at the College of Pharmacy in Saskatoon? Oh. If you could just tell me what you're wearing today. So it's uh, Aritzia pants. They're like light blue, I think, right? Uh -huh. And then we got Aritzia top too. It's a matching set. Uh -huh. They come in like different colors, but I really like the blue yes, color. Yes, I love the Aritzia. Right? Set. And then some white Nikes. I don't know what they're called, but I got them at like the warehouse of Nike. So like random women's actually. Uh -huh. These are all. This is also women. Yeah. And then just a tote bag uh -huh. to pair it all together and a black face mask to match. Oh, I love the simple. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's like a street. So where do you find your like fashion inspiration coming uh, from? I feel like Instagram. Like lately I've been to really like baggy stuff and like more li loose fit type vibes. Like I used to wear really tight fits, but like now I like in a loungy loose kind of vibe. So like yeah, a lot of different people on Instagram. Yeah. And do you find yourself gravitating towards uh, more of like a comfortable style? Like, yeah, I'd say going... comfortable. Like comfortable but fashionable. Like I don't like completely like... I mean honestly sweats are nice too. Like always doing sweats whenever I can kind of thing. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, and then last question. What would you say? like your dream is Instagram influencer man uh -huh. a dream yes you know? uh -huh. or TikToker we can do some dance of course yes do you want to shout yourself out at all uh, Rayhan Hossein follow me on Instagram oh is that the camera that's the camera Instagram, yes Rayhan Hossein <laughs> okay yeah. perfect thank well you. yeah thank you so much for coming on the you. show Yeah. my name is Tamara Tamara yeah where are you from I'm um, Scarborough you should stay off for today um so I'm wearing this what would I call this um, it's like a ho it's like a hobo sweater, I think. So I used to have I used to have one in grade ten, grade nine, grade ten, and it was like a black orange colorway and I ended up getting rid of it because I didn't really like the colorway anymore. And so basically I found this recently at a thrift value village. Um, I'm wearing suit coats and um, this Levi's tote I got for free at Nordstrom. <laughs> and oh and let me not forget the hat, it's not on my head, but <laughs> Oh, I see the idea. I see where you're going with the outfit. I love it. Yeah, I love but it. And then that's from Lids. Okay. Yeah. Do you have anyone that inspires you or like a designer or artist that, ma that makes you dress like um, I wouldn't say I really have much of, I don't have a person that inspires me, but more so just growing up, I used to be obsessed with Tumblr. So like, I'm kind of low-key still am. But I am working towards a clothing brand as well. And I started, out, I started that off of more so me being an artist. So I do painting, I do oil painting and I want to create a platform that allowed me to kind of express myself and because I do a lot of stuff, um, photography, sewing, all that stuff, I want to kind of have a platform where I can 
I guess, put my art. I started really getting into clothing design because that's something that I think I really deeply wanted to do when I was younger and I didn't get the chance to. So um, getting into my clothing brand and I would like to maybe one day design cars and stuff like that. I'm in, in, going towards industrial design right now. Yeah. That's lovely. Did you, have, you already have like something lined up? Like do you have a name for the brand? Do you have, yes, like, my place? brand is Tissol Museum. Oh, okay. And basically it's more so geared towards my my clothing and my paintings. So I do oil paintings. Yeah, and I do a lot of portraits. So that's portraits. basically my brand. Mm -hmm. Lovely. That's great to hear. Hopefully you have a great rest of your day in Toronto. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. You too. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you for the opportunity. Hi there. My name is Mo. Hey, and are you from here? Uh, yeah, I live in Toronto. So if you could just tell me what you're wearing. Um, so it's just basically like a rugby type shirt. Uh, going with the earth tones because we're in fall. And then just like regular black denim jeans and black air forces. And where do you take your fashion inspiration from? Um, honestly, I just follow a lot of people on social media, like no one specifically. Um, a lot of, you know, influencers. I just follow a lot of thrift pages, like on vintage pages, see whatever they have. And if it's pretty good, a pretty good deal, and I usually just snag it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have a favorite thrift store around Toronto? I like Black Market. It's, 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 it's a really good one. There's a lot of cool stuff and you got really good pants for cheap. Honestly, I got these for 10 bucks. Black Market definitely up there. Um, also, there's one on Parliament and... Um, Gerard, it's called Double Take, Double Take Thrift Store. It's not like it's, so. You go there, you see, you see your luck. Sometimes it's good stuff. I got, I, I was able to snag a good jacket, uh, but yeah. Yeah. And where do you find your style like gravitating towards, like streetwear or like comfortable? So definitely more streetwear because I'm an international student. So when I first came here, it was like very basic, like kind of like Hollister, Abercrombie, H and M, all that stuff. But then like more as I learn more about Toronto, learn more about the city as well as people. Because there's a lot of diversity here, so definitely a lot more streetwear. I'm um, just trying to divert, di diversify my closet. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. Cyril. Cyril. Um, why are you, where are you from, Cyril? Niagara Falls. Why are you here? <laughs> just my lady and I have a day off. We come up to Toronto, okay. have beers, and walk around. Can you explain to me what you're wearing today? All, all it's Levi's jeans, mm -hmm. 541s, Lovely. Levi's jacket, and Jason Dill, F.A., T-shirt. And Levi's from Levi's too? Uh, yeah, Niagara Falls, like the outlet. The outlet? Yeah. Beautiful. What about the pin? The pin? What is, oh, Prince, my favorite. Oh, and the shoes, and everything. New Balance, just like you. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. I'm glad to be 20 and out here. In your outfit, is there anyone that inspires you to dress the way you dress? Or you just dress oh, how you feel? Uh, I, I, I'm a big fan of Jason Dill and an old skateboarding. Skateboard. An old skateboarder named Matt Hensley. I grew up looking to. Do you aspire or do you have a dream? to do something or do you have a plan or uh, in the future? I'm older so I had a skateboard shop in my 20s that was my dream but then after after that I, I'm a sport worker I work in group homes and that's where I'm supposed to be that's, where you're supposed to, that's, yeah, you think? that's my thing okay lovely thank you for having you on the show thank you and hopefully you have a great rest of your day in Toronto we're going to hi I'm Atari uh, where are you from originally I'm from Brampton so it's a little a little further away from Toronto but Canadian there you go so if you could just tell me what you're wearing well I got most of this off Amazon but these glasses I made myself Wow. yeah I bought uh, two different colored lenses and I just popped them out and switched them huh. and if you could just like explain the pins we have going on oh my god yeah I made most of them I actually had a lot of fun making them so where do you get your fashion inspiration from Honestly, a lot of it's straight out of movies. I mean, I got a lot of Night of the Living Dead shirt on right now. Uh -huh. so. <laughs> wow, so you seem, so you're very interested in movies. Do you have like big aspirations to be creating movies one day? Oh, definitely. Honestly, I got a whole bunch of ideas. I got an idea notebook and I'm going to make everything in it. What, what kind of style do you find yourself gravitating towards most? Honestly, I like to call it Walmart chic because it seems to be a lot of Walmart. <laughs> uh -huh. Very cool. I mean, it's always a good deal. Do you have any social medias that you'd like to promote? I actually have an Instagram here. It's uh, Illustration Productions. So just illustration with an I on the front and productions. You heard that here. Hi, my name is Tatiana. Tatiana? Yeah. Thank you. Where are you from? Here, from Toronto. Toronto? From Toronto. We're born and raised. So can you explain to me your outfit today? Like where it's from? Like yeah, everything. Okay. All right, look. Where's from? Um, why you want to know? This is like my go-to casual outfit. I actually repeat this outfit like probably more than I should. <laughs> um, this sweater is from, it's a champion, but I got it from Winners. 
Panzer Garage and my slides are Nike and from my work. So yeah. Oh oh yeah, and the can't can't forget the the can't OVO. The OVO. <laughs> Represent always. Yeah. Drake's watching. Yeah, Drake's watching. Drake's hey, watching. hey Drake. Yeah. Hey girl. <laughs> hey. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and this is my Pandora bracelet, hair ties, or bands, nothing, nothing crazy. I don't have my rings on today, no, nothing. nothing. Now, do you have someone that, intri- like, that inspires you to dress the way you dress? I mean, not today. Like, I feel like this is, like, probably the worst outfit, like, to ever wear for no. this. But, for, like, on my regular day-to-day, I would say, like, my number one would probably be Rico Nasty, for sure. Rico Nasty. Rico Nasty is probably, like, my number one, like, style, like, icon, for sure. Do you have a dream or, like, do you inspire to do something in the future? I definitely want to do music in the future. That's something I really, really want to do in the future. I just, I haven't taken it serious just because I've been, this life is just crazy. Like, it's something I've been, like, wanting to do for years now, and I've always wanted to as a child, so I just really want to do it when I'm older. Are you really sure? Yeah. Thank you so much. I will. I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to. My name's Dan Colson. Uh, people call me Dan the Guitar Man. I'm a busker from Scarborough. Tell me what you're wearing today. Well, today I just went with the, the, the plain black pants. I find when I, did, when I do play music, the best thing to do is dress as well as I can. Right? Other people want to wear, wear clothes to feel sorry for. I want to you know, look sharp and, uh, you know, because my music takes care of the rest. How long have you been playing music for? I've been playing since I was 44. I decided to start playing guitar. And I've You're written, not 44 right now? <laughs> no, I, I'm 61 now. Oh. I just turned 61 recently. <laughs> Haven't been able to play much during COVID and, and wouldn't want to because of uh, people having a hard time. You don't want to show them you, you're making money and they, they're scraping pennies together. Was that your dream to, to be oh, no, in the music? I, no, no, I, I'm old, man. It's to enjoy. <laughs> you can always have dreams. It's yeah. to enjoy myself. Yeah. That's what it is. And uh, when I first started playing, I was complaining about, you know, trying to learn. And somebody, one guy said to me, he goes, no, don't worry about trying to sound like anybody else. Don't try to duplicate their song. You're not the band. You're just a guy with a guitar. Right? He said, as long as you have fun and enjoy yourself, others will enjoy the music. And those who don't, don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for you, being on the well, show. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Have yourself a wonderful day. And this sounds like a great idea to promote Toronto.